First of all, you need a template to design the wheel precisely, have the hubcaps location, the lug holes, screws, and the wheels proportion in general. After that, you can create a new layer. Select the ellipse tool and then select the shape option. Click and drag the cursor while holding the Shift and Alt keys. In this way, create a circle to set the wheel's overall dimension. For the outline, you can select any color. Now, select the brush tool. From the top menu, select the icon that looks like a butterfly. This is the symmetry option. We are going to work with it. In the drop-down menu, several options appeared. We'll work with the later two, Radio and Mandela. Let's start with the Mandela option. In the pop-up menu that appears on the screen, place five segments to create a five-spoke wheel. A template will appear on the screen. Align this template with the center of the wheel and adjust the size to extrapolate the total dimension of the wheel. Start to draw the wheel through the center cap and then draw the lug holes. You can also draw the screws if you want it. Then create a small lip near the end of the wheel. At the moment, you can disable the layer with the wheel template so that you can create freely without being influenced by the reference design. Create a new layer and draw the spokes. After creating the spokes, it is necessary to jump into the details. Be very careful when creating the fillets. Create the outer lips, trying to establish a proportion with the spokes. Now, we have a symmetrical spokes wheel using the Mandala Symmetry feature. To create a symmetric wheel spokes, create a new layer again, select the Brush to Symmetry option, and now select the Radio option. In the floating menu, place 5 again for the segment counter. A new segment pattern will appear on the screen. Again, try to align with the center of the wheel and adjust the dimensions to extrapolate the wheel's limits. As previously done, create a lip close to the wheel's limit and then develop the wheel spokes in a very creative way. Do not forget to work the fillets well. Draw the outer lip in a very dynamic way, giving some movement to the wheel design. Doing this way, you can see that we created two wheels in less than 10 minutes. Can you imagine how many wheel proposals you'll be able to make in a single day using this technique? After that, you can select the best themes and render them. This is a very simple way to create a wheel design. Please, share it with someone who may also need this tutorial. Save it and put in the comments below which car design tips you'd like to see from now on. I hope you enjoy it, thank you very much and I see you next time.